on Facebook, it was like, I don't know, like a, a, a fluff around so much. It's like I got 20 minutes left and then you kind of sort of start one job and you start another job and start another job. And by the time you get there, it's like, oh my God, it's like seven o'clock. I have to go now and, um, and, and go live. So I very quickly, I came and sat down and it's like, oh, I haven't got a drink. So I had to run back out and get a drink as well but we are here now am i uh, i hope hopefully i'm live on the right link but i can see i can see some of you here so just say hello just to make sure that you are um we are where we are supposed to be <laughs> sometimes like technology can get me right okay so i've got a couple of things i want to play tonight with um i want to revisit the v beats because um i just think we could put a gem duo in between and it would look quite nice and we have played around with it before and um i can grab the samples what we did maybe about three or four weeks ago um but um i was thinking the other day i had them out and um, i had some gem duos out because i was like doing something else with gem duos and i'm thinking oh maybe they would fit together like a nice little unit so have a little play with that Right, let's just pop this on Facebook. There we go. And then we can get started. Good evening, Claire, Tracy, good evening, Angela, good evening, Anita, good evening, lovely Christine, good evening, Amelia, good evening, Genesis here as well, good evening. It looks like there's quite a few of us here tonight. Okay, so just post it in here as well and then we can get going it's it's so surprising like how f how fast like the the time goes when you and then i just sort of fluff around for a little bit right i'm gonna turn you down my my face camera has been temperamental so i might um it might disappear <laughs> but never mind let's have a look let's go in so I want to play with some super jewels because we got 30 new colors of super jewels in and we did sort of a herringbone um i think it was called hannah if you remember um bracelet like quite some time ago and what i would like to try is to do something where we don't just have sort of one row but have got like a triple row and and maybe um sort of blend the colors as well and um and and see how we go with that one i think um it's gonna be quite a nice one so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the new super jewels out and gonna have a little play with that one what shall we do um uh, i'm gonna go pink tonight <laughs> i don't know if lucy's on but i'm gonna go pink tonight i'm gonna use these three shades and then see how we get on um, with that. Just grabbing some thread. Oh, I'm gonna need some seed beads as well. So I reckon a nice sort of paley pinky seed bead with that one or something like more mauvey. Let me just put, let me just take the tops off so you can see so that you don't get the glare on it. maybe this one just sort of in between for the sides or just like grab i think this one is too pale so i'm definitely gonna say no to that one pink sounds like a very good choice this is saying and i even think the rose gold is not quite right i think that's the right color for it that's i could go dark like that I think that's then too dark. I think I had the right color there first. This one is too pink. <laughs> too pink, too dark, too light. So let's go. Let's go with the third choice. But at least we looked at five other choices. I do this so many times. Um, and then I go with the original choice. Go figure. How our mind works. Good evening, Lucy Addison. Good evening as well. Christina. Good evening, gorgeous pink, she's saying. Love making these um, henna bracelets. Yeah, did the single ones, they were so good, but I want to do like a triple one. Might, because we got all of this new Super Duo Beast, so I want to bring, uh, I, I, I think there's only one or two colorways left on the website of the original henna. So we kind of want to revamp it 
and um, and bring it back. I'm trying to look for a straightest needle, but I think I might have to treat myself to a new needle because all the needles in my little holder are quite bent. So I am um, I'm not sure what clasp I'm going to be putting on there. So I'm kind of going to start from the second row for my little swatch because I can always go back with the tail and uh, fill it out even more. So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up four of the same color at the same time. And yes, I want to shade it sort of going that way. I'm kind of like half thinking and talking here to myself. So I'm going to have to pick up color one two color twos, two color ones, two color twos, two color ones, two color twos, and then one color one. Two, and then one. Because you're gonna have, they're gonna sit that way. So we're going to turn around, I'm going to keep a, a, pick up a couple of seed beads and I'm going to go into, so I want, want the, the color one's going to be pointing downwards um, for now. Am I right? Is it one? Two, two, one. Oh my God, too many on there. So I want, they're going to sit, I don't know, I think I'm fine. So. I'm gonna go back on the second one. I wouldn't have started this way, but I want to leave the end kind of like open-ended. And then I'm gonna pick up two color threes, because that will be the next row. Go through this and then jump straight make sure they're sitting right straight over the next two did I need it two there or did I need one there because now I got like I got an extra one there do this thing love the pink Lucy <laughs> Christmas thing with three sons and a husband I just love the pink to balance it out absolutely we're talking about pink um today in the beat club because i'm not kind of like overly pinky person i've never been but there's a certain shade of pink so like a little bit darker than that i i absolutely love that pink and i've got a couple of tops um and that color but it's very interesting i think like we all gravitate towards to a color one color or another and um depending and what is your color is um i definitely gravitate towards the blues and turquoises and aquas right and the last two i'm picking up i'm going to talk you to what i'm doing just in a sec but i just wanted to make sure <laughs> that it's going to work and it's worked oh no i'm going through the wrong bead i said i just said it works and then i go to the wrong bead I'm not a pink best person, more purple. I, I kind of like more purple too, um, because I can mix purple more with blues. I think pink, pinks mix nicer with greens and purple mix <laughs> nicer with blues. So we got to the other side and I'm going to turn around. I'm going to hold, kind of hold this side. I should have knotted at the beginning and the end because I'm going to have this, uh, um, I'm going to have the tail kind of like going back on itself so i think i'm gonna knot it i'm gonna knot it together otherwise it is oh no but i got the extra one there so that should be then going there should be two seed beads and out in here let's go through it again so i'm gonna put two seed beads on and i'm gonna go through the whole of row one here because i don't want to um, 
Ideally, I don't really want to knot it because if I have to attach a clasp, I don't want them to all the knot <laughs> to go into the hole. The supertures haven't really got that large holes, to be honest. They are quite, um, the hole on them is quite small. So it's going to be like a triple, a triple henna. So I'm going to go across. There we go. With, with super jewels, you kind of have to be careful because the holes are don't always like they sit on an angle and they don't match up. So I'm just going to quickly run through and then back through the other row again just to reinforce it because otherwise I would have had had it unreal. Right, so what's everybody's been up to this week? Oh, purple is passionate and yellow is a happy color. Oh, Janice, I need a yellow then. <laughs> Why didn't you say that? We need to work with yellow all the time. All the time. You have to have all the colors present, I guess. How, what, what, does, what do the other colors mean? What do greens and blues? Christine saying, I love blues, purples, my favorite, but pinks do have a bit of uh, those colors in them. Yeah, absolutely. Just gonna go up, go through again. Mina is saying, I am now starting to like Sunset Kids. You have got Kitty. I think our taste changes as well as we go through life. Um, when I was younger, I really didn't like purple at all. And now I, I quite like purple. So I, I do think the same way as our taste changes in food, I think it changes in um, in, in, in the, of somewhat not not all of it, but somebody changes in our color scheme as well. I'm just gonna pop my hair um, up. Sorry, just I feel like it's one thing to come forward. Right, so I feel like hot and cold all day today, to be honest, and I just sort of felt a little bit hot, especially <laughs> if I put my hair up. Right, there we go. Right, getting right to the end. Okay, so on any normal row, very, very easy stitch. So if I if I would have picked up the first row, I would have picked up with a couple of seed beads in between, which is probably I should have done. But this way I can continue that way if I need to. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of seed beads, come back through and now I'm going to be back to color one. So I'm always picking up two. I'm going up and down in these two, picking up another two. I think this is going to work quite well. And because they are sort of larger beads, the pattern will go grow quite fast. They are also, I love the way how they sit together. I'm not sure we could perhaps add something in between the rows like here we could add something um, a crystal or, or maybe start off with something smaller and then fan it out a little bit we could try that as well i think that would look really good oh david saying i love the color combination whatever you choose but we all have something different for example light amethyst and dark amethyst and green yeah absolutely they got all sorts of if you look at in nature as well like different flowers will come in different colors <laughs> different everything is an or like just because like you know i live by the sea you can go down to the beach one day and it's everything is like sort of silver gray you go down next day and everything is blue you go down next day and it's brown you go down next day and it's green more greeny color and and so on so i do think color is so can be so beautiful around us
Christine is saying, I think I recall, Kitty, that one you mentioned that one of the reasons you love beading is all the lovely colors. Absolutely. But you know, like the colors came like first, first it was more like putting things together and, and designing certain things and sort of stitching and stringing and doing all sorts of stuff. And after that, when I started to put things together, I... What I like to do, and I have to get those little swatches out, I think I, I packed them away um, in a box, but um, I have to get them out to show you what I love to do. I, I, I used to love making little swatches, like stitching a little cube or four crystals together in different colors and put some seed beads in between and see which one fits the best. And I really do love doing that one because it's not just the colors both fit together, but it's the mount you use. So, for example, if I the seed bead is only going to hug this on the outside, so we could have get away with a lot of different colors to be honest, because you only see it on the outside and the middle is gonna be the beads themselves. So I guess you know, it's it's sometimes I sit down and I put a color together and I try it and it works for the first time. Sometimes it only works for the fifth time, but I absolutely love all the different colors. And I love decorating as well. Like I love DIY and I love sort of adding colors together. And <laughs> I know, like a lot of people can't sort of understand how many different shades of white you can have. <laughs> Because if you have got, like in the dining room, I got green, like and an olive, olive greeny color. So if you got that colored, like the white white doesn't really go with it. It needs to be a warm white. So it needs to be have a bit of sort of a, a mushroomy color in there, to so it goes really nicely. Now on the other hand, in the lounge, I got blue on the wall. So for the blue, the mushroomy white. <laughs> It's like it's a very very hint of it doesn't really go with it because it's a cooler color So it needs sort of a different white which is perhaps got a tiny bit of pink in it. I just love it I think if I could I would be sort of decorating and painting and doing all that day in and day out I really love it I think that looks really good. What do we think? Jenny's saying, this is, looks gorgeous, Kitty. Shirley, good evening, lovely. Cold in Florida today, 65 degrees. Well, um, I think, I don't, how many Celsius is 65 degrees? Can somebody have a look it up? Because I don't know in Fahrenheit, but I'm sure 65 degrees is quite warm <laughs> for us in the UK. So do let me know. what 65 degrees is christine is saying love that design i think it's going to look really good and and it's quite easy to do but i'm not sure if it should be adding something in between in there as we're going through because if i come and add one on i could be adding something in between but maybe maybe plain is good as well and then it's just sort of here you could open it up if you wanted to. Right, if if anytime you're doing something like this and your beadwork gets a bit loose, always go back to the edge, pull on the seed beads, and then trap your sort of super jewels in between your fingers and then pull back on there to tighten it up. Just gonna keep on going and a couple more. I think this is gonna look really good. Sort of as a wider bracelet, but you could do double or triple. I always like to do sort of new takes, even if you've done something before, do a new take on there. And when you do a new take on something, I think it's it's good because you're already familiar with the stitch for somewhat, you just haven't done this variation for it. And when I, when you're already familiar with something, more, you're more likely, <laughs> you will you will do it and you will enjoy doing it. Like, think about it. And like, if you're familiar how to bake, I don't know, 
a, a chocolate cake and then you will be more likely to do a lemon drizzle or a lemon cake or a Victoria sponge because like you already know some some it's just a different I keep talking about cakes today aren't I this morning I was talking about cakes <laughs> and then um in the beat club we were talking about cakes I have been having quite a sweet tooth lately maybe that's why shall I say guess who loves pinks Lucy Lucy loves pink I think this is gonna look good so I don't know like how long would I need to make up the whole bracelet probably 10 gram each it would be sort of a little bit wider and I think it, it would look quite nice but I have a look I have a little play maybe to put something in between as well we could add a, either a seed bead in if we added a seed bead all the way I think I might I'm gonna leave this as this is and I might start another one and add the seed bead in in the middle as well and see what does it look like then because otherwise I'm gonna keep going going and I'm gonna end up I went to the wrong I went to the wrong wrong hole there so I'm gonna step have I have I gone to the wrong hole yes I might need to step back anyway so I'm gonna get a new thread and I want to try adding a seed bead in between and what does that look like so we could fan out sort of the rows I could try it just with two as well just go through here and I'm gonna leave this here so if we just try with two and then sort of fan out in between um, you could do with crystals and all sorts of stuff so let's have a let's have a try of that one I'm gonna get some more thread off this I'll grab another needle there we go so if I want to add a seed bit in between I'm gonna start properly at this time because <laughs> I want a nice solid base I'm going to start properly on one end. Oh, come on, needle. Doesn't want to go through. It would be so much prettier than eight. Have you used the jewels as the base and built up on like top like you would with a different look? What, what do you mean, Shirley? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what you I'm, I'm using 11s at the moment using size 11 beads if you put a seed bead that would create a butterfly effect so let's try out so I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up two color ones I'm just going to do a two row one. I'm going to pick up three seed beads, another two color ones. I'm going to take these down and then I'm going to turn around in this seed bead, in, in this super duo <laughs> with the seed bead. And I'm going to pick up two color twos. And I'm going to pick up a seed bead before I go into the next unit. Then I'm going to pick up another two color twos and get to the end. And then I'm turning around, picking up two seed beads coming back through the hole I need to come back through 
Oh, come on. Got that little tail end cord there. I'm going to let the end go. I'm going to pick up two color threes. Come through that one. Pick up a seed bead. Get to the next one. Hello, Gail from California, she says. There we go. And another two. Now I'm going to do maybe one more set like that. So another three rows because what I really want to try out is what happens. And I know I did not the tail end. <laughs> so it's going to come on loose there. Just going to have to keep it tight. I'm going to hold on to it just like that. So I'm going to do one more sort of three colors just like that. And then I'm going to, instead of one seed bead in the middle, I'm going to go up to two seed beads. And then see what happens if we can sort of widen up in between. Because if we can, then what we can do is we can add all sorts of like maybe pearls, crystals, all sorts of different beads in between. So we're just going to do it with a seed bead as a measure. And we can sort of work our way up. If you imagine like a middle of a bracelet being sort of wider in the middle and then um, tapering down as you get towards the clasp. Yeah, this tail end is not going to play ball. Well, I've got a little... Yeah, I've got, I'm going to put one of these bead stoppers on there because otherwise it's going to keep coming kind of like undone. So color one, color two. One, two. Come on now, thread. And then my thread is gets all knotted up. Right, pulling on the seed beads on the side and then pulling it through, pick up a seed bead, go into the next unit, make sure it doesn't wrap around. Did we sing looking good? California being hammered with terrible storms. Oh no, I hope you're safe, Chrissy. Girl said today we had a nice break. Shirley's saying hard, hard to explain. Maybe I will just do it. But if you make a little sample and pop it into one of the groups or send, actually, <laughs> send it to me and then I will see it. If you send it directly to me. So I'm going to do this one. It's still with a single seed bead in between. Then we're going to go up to two seed beads. And then three and four and five, I think maybe is the widest one we want to do. But it's kind of just measuring up the possibilities of what we can do. I mean, I can go up here. because It's only just a little swatch this one. So I'm going to pick up two seed beads instead of one. So I'm going to kind of widen it. Come through. Turning it around. Then the two seed beads. I'm picking up color one. Now we could have started like without a seed bead as well right at the beginning. So now I'm going to pick up three seed beads to sort of create a lot even larger gap. I wonder what's going to happen when we sort of taper it down, how well it's going to fit together then. I don't think so far it's kind of looking good, but we need to go wider. Adding color one there, 
turn and get around. So three, I'm gonna add four when I get there in this row, adding color through two on. I love when you have like two herring bones and like you add something in between. Now I think if we started, if we were seed bead and then we started, we added like a three millimeter pearl, maybe four millimeter pearl, a six millimeter, four millimeter, three millimeter as, as a little bubble, I think it would look really good. One, two, three, four. Size eleven, so we are we are getting wider there. Show this thing if you do breast cancer awareness, like this would be perfect colors. It is those pinks, isn't it? And I'm turning around, so I'm gonna go up to five, and then, uh, and then I think we can reduce the numbers back down. So it's color three. We could have done this like in one color. We didn't have to do it in three colors. I'm gonna pick up five. One, two, three, four, five. And this number three. Do you think we should we need to go wider? What do you think? Or shall we sort of work back into uh work back into a point? I think I want to work back into a point and see how does it look like. So on this next row I'm gonna add four on instead of the five and then three, two, one, and then we see what happens. So it's color one in terms of, the, of our shading. Picking up four and then um, going to pick up two color ones. Turning around and then in this row we're going to have three seed beads in between. So one, two or two turn around seed beads. It's color two. It's kind of like pack, puckering the five in there. So that's something perhaps larger or maybe two beads would be like different sizes. We have, we kind of have to because there is nothing stopping it closing in because the seed beads are kind of just straight so maybe we need something we need one but the widest part is we need a bead because there's nothing stopping it sort of folding it in just like that so I think instead of five, we need, we need a pearl. And that's four, because if I'm gonna go down to three now, and, and I think it will see, we'll just pull it to, so kind of with just with seed beads, it doesn't really work. It needs something solid in the, ooh, how about, how about a cabochon? How about a cabochon in the middle? See, like it's pulling it together. So it's not just with seed beads, it's not gonna work. We need something, which is, let me just grab a cabochon out, because that's kind of sort of, or anything flattish. Um, Park Book has got some oval ones as well. Oh, they're not gonna be the right hole. Or Samos beads. They, they could work, oh, I've got a pinkish color here. And they could work. Oh no, no pink. 
I got all these colours. I got this pinkish reddish. Let's try this one. So because of the holes are going like that, but it's not as wide as the, the cabochons are bigger. I, th I think this is too skinny just to go in there. So I think we need something a little bit bigger. Let me just have a look on the cabochons. But it doesn't have to be two holes. It can be like one hole as well. We could have a round these. Right, cabochons. A pink one coming up. So this one is a bit, I think that will look nicer because it's a bit bigger, it's a bit wider. Let me just pull that up. So I think we need something, then they're not going to work. We need something to hold the gap there. I'm very quickly going to take it back and I think this is going to be, we leave the four there because I think it will kind of match around it. And then put, but we could do use a crystal as well. Christine saying, good idea, bugle beads or bugle beads, something. We need something to hold, hold the gap there. So I'm just going to very quickly, I'm going to take it back where we would need it to pick up that cabochon. I don't know what else have we got. I need to come back here. What else have we got, which is sort of flat and they've got two holes. I know candy beads are a little bit bigger, but I'm not even sure if we've got candy beads in stock. I'm just gonna grab a new needle there because that one is a little bit bent on the end. Right, so cabochon perhaps will keep us. And then definitely we should have started with no seed beads in between whatsoever. So you get that opening up kind of look. Make a flower in the, in the doers in the middle. Um, that would look good as well. So I'm just picking up the cabbage on. I'm gonna go in and pull it up. Maybe we should have taken that as well. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave it in and see how we go. And I come back on the other side. So how is it gonna all look? Because it's gonna make it they won't be able to shut on itself. It has to stay open. If, and, and I got the hole there already, so I'm just going to go through the other hole and the cabbage at the same time. Kitty saying, this is so pretty, thank you. I love how you show us how to figure things out to create something spectacular. And this finally caught alive. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, I, I do really love it. I think it's... You know, everything is everything is figure it outable. I don't know if figure it outable is a word, but everything is figure it outable. And we can always just like, you know, sit down and play, but if you're not really if you have if you never really been sort of designing or doing anything, sometimes you don't even like if I had to design a jumper or something in another craft, I wouldn't know <laughs> where to start. And um, yes, I could follow a kit or I could follow something. But I think if somebody just sits down and explain it to me, like how you put the stitches together or how you do this or how you do that, is so, is so good because you kind of can do your own thing then as well. And I just love, I just love sitting down and playing. And some nights we get some good results and other nights... <laughs> Not so good results. I think what I need to do, or what we should do, because it's going to be a bit gappy like that. So I think we should have the cabochon there. Then I'm going to get the summer speeds out. The colors not matching, but we could have the summer speed there. What do we think? Or something smaller than the cabochon, but still sort of the check 
find the beads. There are, I don't think, they're ruler beads. They might work. Um, bricks. Bricks might work. Let me just get one of those out. Or do we need something a little bit thicker first? And then we could go down to bars. Um, what else have we got? I've got so many trays out now. <laughs> I don't know where to put all these trays. Um, they're too thin. Beams are too thin as well. Tiles. So tiles. How about I'm just going to grab a tile out. Tiles might even match up. Or we could just keep on going and always having a cabochon in the middle. Like that would look really good as well. Like we could have a seed bead in between the cabochon and the super duos and just keep having a whole row of them in the middle. That would look good as well. Um, but what I was thinking, and I'm going to try, where did I put it? Oh, here, right in front of me. <laughs> Why did I put it right in front of me? I'm just going to try this brick that we could go down to the size of something thinner. Just like that. It probably wouldn't be good at this instance. How about if I pick up another cabochon next and just keep keep going with the cabochon in the middle? maybe closing down going in and out it's not going to be kind of like as easy to maneuver and keep it tight so maybe we need to if you want we can start in a point make it wider and then keep this for kind of a longer period before we go back on the other end let me just pull this up how big of a gap is this going to give us? We see. Let me just add a few more bits on. What do we think? I like the cap going forward. Get it saying? I was thinking bars, bricks as well. Yeah. There's so many different things. I don't like the bricks next to the... I, I think the Samos has... Um, might be better because it's more of an oval shape so they this one is round and this one is oval but they're not the same thickness and the bricks are like quite <laughs> they're very bricky <laughs> next to it they don't um not as elegant in a way oh i got a blocked hole in this one have i let's have a look can we get rid of it whatever is in it is it sometimes you get Maybe one super duo in a hundred or thousand, which has got the hole blocked. Sometimes the punch doesn't punch it all the way through. Okay, I need to take that one off because I'm not. If I'm forcing it more and more, it's just gonna break my needle, and it might even break the bead as well. So I'm gonna take that very last one off. And just discard it to the side. Making sure I pick up with one with both of the holes. And he's saying I like the cabochon, Davis. I'm like I like the cabochon and the tire alternating. Yeah, could to try that one as well. What about crystal? Absolutely, we could try a crystal too. So this is if this isn't at all <laughs> what I wanted to play with today. I wanted to try out those V beads again with something in between the V beads, but um didn't happen never mind next time so I, I quite like that I don't think we need the seed bead in between but I do think we need a seed bead in between the cabochon and the super duo itself so that's color one 
I don't know if I want it all the same color for the super jewels or I want to would want to carry on with a mix like this. I think what I perhaps would prefer to do because like it becomes too busy, isn't it? What I would prefer to do and what I am going to do is I'm going to forget about color number one. I'm going to pick up two then three come through but no because then i'm going to pick up three <laughs> then two three first then two oh what another one what's happening two in a row look i haven't had a blocked one in such a long time and then i get two at the same time Just get this card that one as well. What did I pick up pick up the same one back up or I just said that could have happened as well. Right, is this one yeah, I can see that's blocked. Put it all the way to the other side. So I'm gonna finish with two ones, turn around, and then I show you what I'm imagining would look really good. So seed seed turning around. Then I'm going to pick up a three, then a two, come through, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, come on, I'm going to pick up a seed bead and I'm going to pick up a cabochon, so it's kind of not so tight together so seed bead then a cabochon then another seed coming through then i'm going to pick up number color two then color three and coming through at the end turning around i need a few more seeds so seed, seed, turning around. I'm going to pick up number three, then number two. Through that one. Pick up a seed. Then through the cabochon. Pick up another seed. Maybe we don't need the seed. <laughs> now putting the seed in, I'm like, oh, I'm not too sure. Good evening, Debbie. Right, so number two, then number three, to the end, and turning around. Seed, seed, to the new hole. And then number three, then number two, through that one, I need to pick up a seed and the cab. I need another club out of that bag. Christine is saying I love V beads. I love them too. Well, I love all beads. <laughs> you can. Have, we were talking about the bead club as well. You can have never enough beads. Right, and the number two, then three. Two, because we're adding the seed bead in, it's kind of softening it up a little bit. Because this part with that is a little bit, it's more rigid, and this one is like more fluid. But we need to add a couple more at least. So number three, then number two into the middle another seed to the cab another seed to the super duo I think that looks quite nice it's nice to add something in the middle uh, number two then number three 
and to the side. What do you think of this sort of, oh, I think I picked up a number one there. By a mistake, I'm gonna change it, but even though if it's just a swatch, <laughs> just a little sort of make a, make a shift thing here, but it was really, that's number one, number two, number three. It would really play with my eyes. Yeah, no seed beads, just a capuchon. I agree with you on the seed bead. <laughs> so the, are we taking the seed bead out or do we want the seed bead in? What do we mean? Just the capuchon saying. I think it looks, when you look at it all the way through, it would look quite nice if you haven't got it there. But then we haven't tried it, adding the capuchons right next to each other. So maybe we should be ought to try that. Let me do let me add one more cabbage on with seed beads. So we've got like a bit of a length there to kind of refer to. Because sometimes it, it would look good, but sometimes you just haven't done enough. So number three, then number two coming through there. I'm gonna pick up a seed, then a Cab through that hole, another seed, coming through, I'm going to put on the end there, and my thread is twisted by the look of it. I just thought of something. You know, we have got those cabochons, which they have got like the little roses on there. How cute they would look in the middle because, and we could do green. Oh, that would look so good. We could do green super duos or, or sort of close to green super duos. We could have those little cabochons with the flowers on the top of it. Oh, I'm going to pick some up this week. Um, I don't think I got any here of those ones. Um, and that would look, that I think that would look amazing. Oh, what did I do? No, I did it right, that's right. I'm sort of like questioning myself here. That would look really good. To have the cabochons with the flowers on the top. Because the super jewels, if you look at them from a the side like that, they just kind of look like leaves. Right, coming through this. And I'm going to add this final two in. And let's see how we're looking. So I added another cabochon in, so we've got a bit of a length. I quite like the seed beads, but I suppose it could be optional to add or not add the seed beads in. Without the seed beads, they are that is quite close, but it could look good. I think without making two sort of bracelets up or like two longer length of uh, um, beadwork up and put it side by side, you're not really gonna know which one look better. I like the seed beads, but perhaps it could be something different. It could be a micro crystal, and we could put one there to to add a bit of a sparkle. Or we could just use um, maybe three or four millimeter pearls. Not even doesn't even they don't have to be six. I think three mil probably would fit the best. Maybe we just have to use we could use three millimeter pearls. So we got a nice row of pearls in the in the middle there. And perhaps when we come oh I know when we come back like on the side we could add the three millimeter pearls there as well all the way down so that would look really good too um, there's all sorts of different things we could you we could do maybe it's the color yeah maybe sometimes it's the color sometimes it's a shape sometimes it's just you haven't done enough and um, there's all sorts of different variations um you just need to keep at it i'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. 
um, like this week <laughs> I'm gonna finish this because I think this would look really good and I really want to bring back Hannah because there's only like a couple of colors on the website and it's one of the most um, sort of requested kits um, obviously Hannah makes three bracelets but we can also do it as a triple bracelet if you wanted to and I think that gives you such a lovely texture it just looks so good so I want to I'm gonna explore that this week and bring it back on the live and I'm gonna I'm gonna explore this as well because I think there is um, so much in it but I'm gonna look at those cabochons with the flower design um, bring some home on Friday and then we see how like I think that would look really good with the sort of flower in in, in the side and and these sort of green um, and I do think we got if you have used like mainly a lighter color green, but here and there we add a darker color green. They're definitely gonna look like leaves um, on either side of the roses. I think that would that would look really good. So cool. That's it for me tonight. I'm gonna go and um, I'm gonna go and <laughs> let this little one out. She's sitting up. She knows what time it is. I think she's got a doggy clock inside her. Um, I'm gonna let her out and I'm gonna give her dinner. I'm gonna play with this this week and see and see where we go and and what what we can do with it. I'm still need to play with last week ideas as well, and um, I haven't finished that one. That's that's still on my sort of table over there, and I'm gonna play with that one as well. I hope everybody have a beautiful week and just keep looking at this and um, have a beautiful week. I uh, will see you back next week. Happy Mother's Day for everybody for Sunday. Um. I hope you have a lovely Mother's Day and um, I'll see you next week. We'll be back on Total in the Morning and back here next Wednesday night. Everybody have a beautiful week and a beautiful weekend. Bye, bye, bye.